Oh, Felicia, hi. Hey, secret. Uh, I have a special wedding present for you in Frisco, but I wanted to clear it with you first. And spoil the surprise? Well, it's not the kind of present you gift wrap put on a table. I, I'd like to give you your wedding and the reception. Why don't you tell me someone else is offered first? Uh, no, uh... So you want to accept my gift? Uh, Sean, I, I can't, uh... It's too lavish. I'd really appreciate it, but I can't let you do that. Well, I don't want to. Uh, and besides, I know you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it, including letting me pay for the wedding. Son, you are a good man and a very good friend. And I, I really appreciate it, but I, I can't take that. I'll never forget that you asked, though. I hope, um, I hope you understand. Yeah, yeah Princess, I understand. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Felicia, hi. Lauren, congratulations. I heard you just got married. Thanks. If you have a few minutes, would you like to talk about it? Sure, let's go find a quiet corner. All right, come on. Thank you. I think I have to work some things out for myself. Well, good luck. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Felicia. Hi. Hi, Monica. Listen, I understand from Sean that uh, you're not going to let him give you the wedding and the reception. Oh, I just didn't feel right. Besides, I, I think I'm going to try to do it all by myself. Well, I think there is a way that we could resolve it. Do you have a minute to discuss it? Sure. Great. Let me buy you a cup of coffee in the cafeteria. Huh? Okay. Mm. Going over and over my budget for the wedding, and I have found places where I can cut costs. Oh, yeah? Like where? Well, Tanya and Bobby are taking care of the food. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother sent me uh, my wedding dress, which <laughs> that cuts off hundreds of dollars. The only problem I'm having now is some place to find to have the reception. Some place cheap. <laughs> now there is something I'm sure Sean would be more than happy to foot the bill for. Yeah, well, Sean's in no position to just throw away money like that. He's had a really rough time, and, well, any money he makes, I think he should keep for himself. Okay. Okay, if you feel that strongly about it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have the wedding and the reception at my house? The Quartermain Mansion? Mm hmm that's where I live. <laughs> you know, Lila has always insisted that that stairway in the foyer would be just perfect for a bride's grand entrance. Uh, it's lovely. Mm -hmm, it is lovely. And one of Lila's few regrets about the house is that there has never been a wedding in it. So, why shouldn't yours be the first? Uh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> and you accept? Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah, with greatest <laughs> gratitude. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> More than welcome. You've not only saved my wedding, but you've saved my bank book. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I've got to tell Sean about this. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Sean, hmm? Monica has agreed to let me have the wedding and the reception at the Quartermain Mansion. Wow, that'll be neat. Oh, well, that's sure a will. surprise. I hope you're not hurt that I uh, turned down your house. Oh, no, no, honey, not at all. I'm just happy everything turned out. <laughs> <laughs> you're a heroine, Monica. No, not a heroine. I'm just a fan of romance. <laughs> Thank you. So I guess that means you're all set for a wedding, huh? Well, not really. I have quite a few things to do yet. Like choosing your bridesmaids? No, actually, I'm just about finished with that. Who's, who's going to be in your wedding? Well, let's see. Tanya's going to be my matron of honor. And Sam has already agreed to be one of my bridesmaids. Anybody else? Why? Just wondered. Something wrong? Well, I thought for sure you'd ask me to be one of your bridesmaids. Oh, no, Robin. I wouldn't ask you to be a bridesmaid. You're too special to be just one of three bridesmaids. What? What do you mean? I want you to be my flower girl. You, you do? <laughs> I can't get up there without having you up there with me. You'll be the last young lady to be walking down the aisle before the bride. If you'll be my flower girl. 
I can't wait to tell Mr. Crow about it. He'll be so pleased. He and Sam were here earlier. They were dressed funny. Well, I don't suppose you know where they were going, do you? Mommy said something. She said something to Frisco about the docks. Why would they go down to the waterfront? 